He brings an element of chaos to Pep Guardiola's well-structured Manchester City team and literally destroys defenders for fun, but his lifestyle away from the pitch is even more electrifying. Just how does Jeremy Doku go about his personal business and how about his expensive properties, relationship, and net worth? Let's dive right into it. Doku was born in Antwerp, Belgium on May 27, 2002. He is of Ghanaian descent from the greater Accra region and is the second child of four children from David and Belinda Doku. Doku's father is a former athlete, so our boy has some athletic genes for sure. Doku grew up in a relatively comfortable middle-class family in Borgerout and the suburb of Antwerp alongside two younger sisters and an elder brother, Jefferson, who would later become part of Anderlecht's youth academy. It was pretty easy to spot Doku's passion for football from a young age, but his parents were keen on his education. So he attended a primary school in Antwerp before getting into a boarding school in Brussels and completing a diploma in media and communication. Doku would play some football in between classes. Also, living very close to the Bosuil Stadion football ground meant that Doku's passion for the game only got stronger because he could literally hear the noise of Royal Antwerp fans shouting from their stadium. But here's how Doku's career really got going. When he was six years old, Doku's parents took him to Devils of KVC Olympic Dwern, which happens to be a small Belgian team for trials. The team then went into collaboration with a bigger team, but went bankrupt shortly after. So Doku moved on to Beershot AC, and it was at this club that things started to look up for the Belgian. In 2012, at the age of 10, RSC Anderlecht signed Jeremy Doku, and since he was still in school, the club offered him a scholarship at their boarding facility. Anderlecht's Purple Talons Boarding School. Life at Anderlecht saw Doku move away from his family. However, his solid performances earned him a call-up to the Belgium Under-15 youth team. Although he got numerous offers from top clubs in Europe, Doku remained with Anderlecht until he made his debut in November 2018. Liverpool in particular were keen on snatching the winger from Anderlecht's academy, but after a meeting with Romelu Lukaku, Doku decided to remain at his boyhood club for another couple of years. After two years with the club, Doku signs for French club Rennes for 26 million euros in October 2020, and with that, he became the most expensive signing in the history of the club. In his debut season, Doku completed an astounding 110 dribbles, the highest for any player under the age of 23 across Europe's top five leagues. Doku would go on to make almost a century of appearances for the French club, despite having a couple of setbacks from injury. And just a few months ago in the 2023 summer transfer window, Ren sold Doku to Manchester City for 55 million pounds in a bid to replace Riyad Mahrez. Since his signing, the winger has added a different layer to City's attack with his speed, dribbling ability, and goal contributions. He's already won his first at a hat Player of the Month award for Manchester City, beating the likes of Erling Haaland and Phil Foden to land his first ever award in November. The way he takes on multiple defenders with ease, his quick feet, and explosive bursts of speed have seen Doku create lots of scoring opportunities for City, while defenders continue to struggle to contain his electric style of play. Just the other day, we saw how he was a nightmare for James Milner. On the international stage, Doku was called up to the senior Belgium squad in 2020. He had played at every youth level since the under-15s. Doku represented Belgium at the UEFA Euro 2020 and the 2022 FIFA World Cup and has 18 caps to his name at the time of this recording. But Doku's lifestyle gets more impressive outside the pitch. We've not really seen Doku with any significant other, so we can confirm whether he's in a relationship or not. At the moment, he appears to be single, but you can't be too sure. But here's what we know about his lifestyle. Doku has a reserved nature, although he has sometimes been misinterpreted as arrogant because of the way he embarrassed defenders with crazy dribbling. Doku is actually a private person. He loves gaming and is one of the few who prefers Pez to FIFA, but there's more to his personality. Doku is quite a figure in the dressing room because each time he arrives at the locker room, and it's not exactly high spirits in there, he always finds a way to lift the mood of his colleagues. For example, he could put on some music and dance in front of everyone. When it comes to fashion, Doku has quite the drip. The truth is that Doku's lifestyle is a complete transformation of what he was as a teenager. According to his youth coaches, he wasn't the easiest of pupils. He hated the gym, didn't like to do any extra running, had a redundant left foot, and often dribbled a lot when a simple pass could have done the trick, but all that has changed. 
Meanwhile, let's talk about some of Doku's properties. We know that Doku has a couple of vehicles, as we can see here and here, but unfortunately we don't know the full extent of his garage. Also, seeing that he moved to Manchester City a couple of months ago, it's likely that he doesn't even own a house in the city, and might be living in a rented one in the meantime. But there's one thing we know for sure, Doku leads a rather modest lifestyle, and isn't exactly the kind of guy to show off a lot of his properties. He wouldn't be too surprised either if he has a couple of charitable projects that most people don't know about. But how much does he make? Doku is on a 5 year contract with Manchester City and he earns £50,000 weekly, which gives us about £2.6 million a year. This makes him among the lowest earners at City, but one thing is for sure, we can look forward to upgrades in his contracts as he continues to mesmerize defenders and be prolific in front of goal. Back in 2020, the winger signed a contract that saw him earn £676,000 per year at rent. Doku also has Nike as his boot sponsor, and he has a couple of other endorsements as well, and boasts millions of followers on his social media. Of course, there would be performance bonuses and other lesser known income streams. Putting it all together, we expect the 21 year old's net worth to be a little more than $15 million. Considering the fact that he still has his whole career ahead of him, that's definitely a cool amount of money to have, but he might be facing some problems. Some fans have described Doku as somewhat arrogant because of the way he humiliates defenders, dribbling them, and bringing the ball back to his feet. Back in his youth days, rather than shooting, Doku would dribble a lot and hold possession longer than necessary, simply waiting for his opponents to catch up so that he could destroy them again. His coach, Stefan Stassin, yelled at him often and repeatedly advised him to score goals rather than waste opportunities. But he is a much more polished player now, and all those complaints are in the past. Other than his dribbling antics, you'll be hard pressed to find any negative comments about Jeremy Doku on and off the pitch. Interestingly, some of the Premier League's most prolific dribblers from the last few seasons, talking about the likes of Alan San Maxima, Wilfred Zaha, Adama Traore, and Emi Buendia, all had one thing in common. They were playing for mid-table or struggling teams. Seeing Jeremy Doku break that pattern and continue with his dazzling style of play in the midst of Pep Guardiola's possession-based football and structured attack simply tells you that the winger is made from a different material and is highly rated by his manager. Interestingly, after Pep Guardiola signed Jack Grealish, everyone thought that the former Villa star would be Guardiola's great disruptor, someone who would bring those artistic touches, but it turns out that Grealish willingly succumbed to being micromanaged and then being a part of the system. At the end of the day, the result is that Doku might continue to be ahead of Jack Grealish in the pecking order, but hey, don't take my word for it. So guys, what are your thoughts about Jeremy Doku? And also, how well do you see him performing in the English Premier League this season?